we're such a wealthy and powerful nation, but we can't get polling and voting rights. In fact, listen to what happened to Brooklyn voter Matthew Ragsdale, who requested an absentee ballot at the exact same time as his wife. I got my ballot on Thursday. Hers never came. Ragsdale's wife was not thrilled about voting amidst the pandemic in person, but did so anyway because she thought it was her civic duty. I just hope they fix it for the general election in November. That was the primary focus of public advocate Jamani Williams, who pointed out other issues during a press conference today. So there was a lot of issues just with the absentee ballots. And then yesterday, poll sites didn't open on time. Uh, poll workers were not there. People got, uh, some people got the wrong ballots uh, for the district they were in. Some people got half a ballot, the national or the local, not both. Even receiving and counting outstanding ballots could take weeks, the City Board of Election admits. With 765,000 distributed and about 679,000 absentee ballots yet to be counted, it'll be particularly nerve-wracking in Manhattan and Queens in the 12th Congressional District, where Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney has a slight lead over her challenger, Suraj Patel, and tens of thousands of more ballots need to be counted. We're still working to find out how many people actually requested an absentee ballot and never got one, like Democratic strategy. Strategist Basil Smeichel. I never got my mail-in ballot, so I actually had to go to the poll site myself. And I imagine that that was true for a lot of voters. And my concern is that some voters wanted a mail-in ballot, didn't get it, and didn't go vote at all. Definitely something we're concerned about come November with the pandemic still probably ongoing at that point, especially on Staten Island. Always a hotly contested race down there in the New York 11th District and out on Long Island as well. There's a big race to replace retiring Congressman Peter King in the 2nd Congressional District. Live in Riverdale, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.